definition of configuration management. Now this term really is the, the, to, uh, used to describe the overall process of which change control is a subset or a subprocess. So configuration management. Um, generally, I don't read slides, but this is important, so let's read this together. A discipline applying technical and administrative direction and surveillance to identify and document the functional and physical characteristics of a configuration item, control changes to those characteristics, record and report change processing and implementation status, and verifying compliance with specified requirements. This is right from the glossary of computer systems uh, software development terminology that the FDA uses. Let's look at this definition a little bit and pick out some of the key words that I think we need to understand to really get what we're meaning by configuration management. I think the first thing that strikes me about this definition is the word configuration item. And that can be a lot of different things. It could be a document. It could be a, uh, a router uh, through your manufacturing system. What other examples of configuration items can people think of? Yes? A mouse. A mouse? Absolutely. What else? Parts. Spend. Parts? Yeah, bill of materials, parts list. Yes? Uh, PLC code. PLC code, absolutely. Source code can be a configuration item. Great. All excellent examples of things that are configuration items. So you can see this is a very all-encompassing definition. We talk about the functional and physical characteristics of a configuration item. If it's a mouse, a piece of hardware, well, it, it has a connector. That's a, um, that's a physical characteristic. It might have two or three buttons. It might have a wheel. Those are physical characteristics. Those buttons and wheels do things. Those are functional characteristics. Now, depending on the configuration item, it's going to have different functional and physical characteristics that you're going to worry about. Software, a piece of software, is going to be different. I mean, its functional characteristic might be a CD-ROM or something like that, or a download file. Whereas its, um, its functional characteristics, well, you could use a whole book to explain the functional characteristics of some software. So we need to identify configuration items and document these characteristics. That is the first stage before you can even do change control is establishing this baseline within configuration management. The next part of this definition talks about controlling changes to those characteristics. Okay, we're going to swap out the mouse now for a wireless US, a, wi a wireless mouse or we're going to go to a USB connection type mouse instead of a, uh, uh, the old style uh, COM port or something like that. Um, we're going to um, um, upgrade uh, a version of software. Uh, we're going from um, Microsoft Office uh, version 3 to version 4, stuff like that. You need to control those changes to those characteristics. That's change control. Record and report change processing and implementation steps. Here's the documentation part of the process. Record and report. And then uh, these changes and, and report on the implementation status. What have you actually implemented in your production environment? And finally, verifying compliance with specified requirements. So that's a big definition because configuration management is a big discipline. It encompasses a lot of areas. One of those areas is configuration control. Again, from the glossary of computer systems software development terminology, and you can find these definitions, this document, this glossary, right on FDA.gov. Uh, the link is there. So let's look at configuration control, an element of configuration management, so it's a subset, consisting of the evaluation, coordination, approval or disapproval, and implementation of changes to configuration items after formal establishment of their configuration identification. Sounds a lot like change control. But in this case, it's oriented towards a configuration item, or perhaps more than one configuration item. For instance, you might um, have change control on four different configuration items, 
but they're all part of a larger configuration and that becomes configuration control. For instance, you might have a system that consists of hardware, software, user manuals, um, procedures, and training for the users of the system. And a configuration of that system might be called revision six. But under there, there are many different configuration items all under individual configuration control. So let's look at now the definition of configuration control. The processes, authorities for, and procedures to be used for all changes that are made to the computerized system and or the system's data. That's one thing that we didn't mention as a configuration item, is data. That's something you need to think about. We all have systems containing data, such as, oh, with I, my company uses a CAPA system, and we have CAPA records. We use a complaint system, and we have customer uh, complaint records. Um, so, uh, so that's something that's subject to change control. Change control is a vital subset of the quality assurance program within an establishment and should be clearly described in the establishment's SOPs. So here we're getting into the very smallest ring of definitions. Change, control, uh, change management being the outermost ring, configuration control being the, the middle ring, and change control being the innermost ring. And we'll be looking at change control today.